Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on injuries and injury prevention and injury treatment in sports and exercise and for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. One of the surgeries that we used to do a long time, really before the day that I kind of got out and out of residency and out of fellowship, but it was done right before then. It was really common in the early days of arthroscopic surgery was surgery to treat a plica in the knee. And it's not done as often as it was, but occasionally you still find people that undergo that surgery. And so one of the, the questions that people with that surgery have is what does the recovery entail and how do you know um, if, if it worked and if the um, pain is gonna come back. And so uh, in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I want to uh, read the question of a college athlete who underwent plica surgery and talk about her uh, experience. Okay, a concerned reader asks, I had plica removal almost a year ago and everything's been fine since. I've recently joined the springboard diving team at my college and so I've been doing a lot more jumping than ever before. I'm very afraid of my knees becoming like they were before. My knee started to hurt after practice a few days ago and it hasn't gone away. It's not nearly as bad as the pain was before surgery though. I'm not sure if I should ignore it and if it will be fine or if I should go see the athletic trainer. Is it worth it to go to the trainer or am I just being paranoid? Okay, before I talk about the plica and continued knee pain, I will say that if you are a high school athlete uh, and your school has an athletic trainer, hopefully it does, but a lot of schools don't, but, uh, and they should, uh, but if you're a high school athlete at a school with, a, with an athletic trainer or at a college uh, that has an athletic trainer, and, and the colleges typically do, absolutely go see the athletic trainer. Um, they're free. I mean, they're there every day uh, after practices in the training room and just get it checked out. A lot of times you may find out um, you know whatever the problem is it could be your knee your shoulder and then in this case the, uh, uh, you know looking for a plica but it could be your ankle your elbow get it checked out just see uh, if it's a big deal a lot of times it won't and they can do some th simple things to get you better you know some motion exercises some mobilizations maybe ultrasound and east end there's a lot of things uh, that athletic trainers can do to try to uh, get you better if, it, if they don't think it's a big deal and if it is a big deal they can refer you uh, to an orthopedic surgeon now specifically uh, with a plica, you know, that's a band of tissue in the inside of the knee, typically on the, the medial side, closest to the midline, um, and it can cause sort of friction up against the bone with knee uh, motion. A lot of people have a plica and they don't even know it. It's not symptomatic. And, you know, I don't know the exact numbers, but maybe five to 10%, maybe more than that have it. In a small percentage of the people that do have it, it can get inflamed and really irritate people in the knee. And uh, it can really, especially on the inside of the knee, be really uncomfortable. Most of the time we don't do surgery. Like I said, we don't do those surgeries much anymore. Um, you try things like physical therapy to try to calm it down, maybe anti-inflammatory medications. Sometimes you can even inject cortisone, not so much into the knee per se, but into the plica itself to decrease inflammation. But occasionally, yes, we need to go in surgically when nothing else is working. I probably only do one or two of these a year now, but you go in arthroscopically through the scope and you take a shaver and you just trim out the plica uh, and that relieves the symptoms. And it almost never comes back. So I would think, again, and I haven't seen her as a patient, but generally uh, the concern wouldn't be that the plica comes back. Um, the concern would be, was the plica really the cause of the pain in the first place? Because again, a lot of people have plica, uh, plicas in their knee and they don't have any problems with it. Now, the recovery from that surgery is surprisingly longer than people think because you're taking out the plica um, and it, that's attached to the capsule and it the knee can really swell and be irritated. So people are always surprised it takes longer to recover from that surgery than you would think. Uh, but people typically do very well if that was the cause of their symptoms. Again, a lot of times physical therapy afterwards can be helpful and maybe modifying your activities and gradually working back into uh, sports specific exercises, in this case diving, until it feels good. Again, I'm a huge proponent. If there's a problem and you're not sure if it's a big deal, get it checked out. If it does turn out to be something serious, you know, the doctor or the athletic trainer uh, can you know, help decide what that is. Uh, but then if it isn't a big deal, you can take steps like maybe doing a course of work with a physical therapist to get you back to the sport or the exercise that you want to do. Now, have you had a plica and have you had surgery for it? How did it go? Was it pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and you did really well? 
or did you struggle to get back to whatever it is you like to do? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So below this video, leave your comments. I'd love to hear your experiences uh, and I'll try to respond to them as well. I mean, maybe it's just uh, following up on this idea of do I get my knee injury checked out or not? I'd love to hear your experiences. If you know somebody with a plica or may, you know thinks he or she may have a plica, I would love it if you'd share this video with him or with her so that hopefully this information can help that person uh, make a decision about what he or she wants to do uh, with the knee and hopefully uh, take steps to get it better. If you like videos like this and want more information on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record videos like this once or twice a week and they'll get delivered directly to you. And last, there's a number of resources that I only share by email. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. At the top of the screen, you can sign up for my email list. You'll get all sorts of resources that I only deliver uh, by email. Plus, uh, you'll get a free copy of the Year of the Healthy Athlete, which, which is an ebook on injury prevention for team sport athletes, individual sport athletes, adults, and kids. I think it's really helpful. I've gotten a lot of great feedback, and all of that's completely free. So, drdavidgeyer.com. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.